हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अबाउट विवेकानंद कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पुटूर एंड दिस इज अ डिसेंट ऑप्शन फॉर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ द अदर कर्नाटका रीजन्स राइट सो इफ दे आर लुकिंग फॉर अ डिसेंट ऑप्शन इन देयर ओन रीजन दे कैन टेक दिस कॉलेज एंड दिस इज कॉलेज दिस कॉलेज इज पार्ट ऑफ सुपर थर्टी स्कीम ऑफ कर्नाटका गवर्नमेंट वे आर दे आर गोइंग टू डू अ गुड यू नो अमाउंट ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंप्रूवमेंट एंड इंडस्ट्री कोलेबोरेशन एंड इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ द करिकुलम एज वेल एज द प्लेसमेंट फॉर दोज कॉलेज इन द इन एवरी सिटी सो देर आर थर्टी कॉलेजेस एंड फ्रॉम पुटूर दिस इज द कॉलेज विच इज सिलेक्टेड फॉर दैट प्लान so this college is one of the reputed engineering colleges in the coastal region of karnataka and started in 2001 so it takes admission through kcet mode of admission and uh, that is the kcet code uh, e121 and this college has a good amount of uh, it infrastructure with respect to you know the lab facilities and the internet connectivity so these are some of the pictures of their uh, infrastructure laboratories and the computer uh, room as well as the library pictures you can see here some more part of the college uh, facilities and infrastructure uh, details so they do have you know uh, facilities for sports so they have table tennis chess as as indoor game plus they have a uh, outdoor also athletic track of 400 meters football grounds you know hockey fields volleyball kho kho throw ball and the kabaddi courts right and they do have a hostel facility where they have a, a gym for athletes and the uh, players right so as i mentioned they have a hostel for both boys and girls so this is just one of the picture of the uh, boys hostel on their campus and uh, this is the nivedita which is the girls hostel boys hostel was called the nalanda hostel and students who are staying in the same city and they want to avail the transportation services so multiple bus routes are also there you can uh, check now directly i'll go to the course part of it so in the under graduation engineering program they have a computer science and engineering and computer science and engineering with data sciences that is a specialization branch and then they have artificial intelligence which is introduced in this year and ec which is electronics and communication so they don't have basically information science engineering department but uh, you know computer specialization are there which can be taken in this uh, college and i will come to detail placement as i go there and apart from that they have a mechanical and the uh, civil engineering department also part of this college so this is more about the placement picture of 2022 passing batch so if you see they have around 328 graduating students in this year and out of which the 323 students got placed so which looks like a very good placement and the total number of companies which has visited this college is 73 companies and they have got the alumni base of you know around 10000 students who have passed already from this college now coming to the companies which are recruiting from this college and i will show some of them already in this video so you see capgemini infosys you know vipro bosch and then the companies like you know the cadence and deltax so a lot of good companies mostly from the it side services and few of the companies like you know dhfl acc accord all those from the other branches which may be mechanical or civil right and i'm covering the branch wise placement so this is one of the placement for 2020 batch is you know i'm which i'm covering here so the highest salary was uh, you know 12 lakhs per annum and that was for the sap and this is for the computer science uh, engineering graduate so quite a good uh, higher salaries you can expect here further moving i'm covering the placements of the computer science department first so you see students uh, placed in cognizant and the another company you see the nox right which is a mid size uh, uh, company and uh, then you see you st students into three four more companies like a dxc technology you see slk software which is bangalore based tanksar and the another company which you see is around maventic so if we move forward then we also see you know mid size companies like conhub where you have or airvision few of the students placed there in this uh, seat you can see few of the students who got placed uh, in the cognizant and all of these are i'm presenting starting with the students of computer science department csc department right and this is also another good uh, you know place where students gets placed is infosys a so lot of good students gets placed there so four of them again all of them from the computer science department this another four students which are the girl students you can check here all of the part of the you know computer science engineering department and this continues so infosys is basically one of the mass recruiters apart from the other it company so you see four more students uh, which are placed from the in, you know this campus to infosys and these are four more students right so you can see approximately 20 to 30 students minimum will be at least uh, in the companies like infosys only 
and this is further the Infosys list right so good number of students uh, as Infosys and you can expect this as it has shown the trend of you know every year uh, it's part of the campus placement this is another company in Bangalore with emphasis and uh, one of the uh, you know say top 20 um, IT company so they have also taken around four students from the same computer science department and you can now uh, see the TCS consultancy services again it is also a mass recruiter like uh, Infosys we are taking a lot of good number of students so it, Infos TCS students also you can further see in this uh, you know page also so some four more students who have part got into TCS and then Wipro if you see similarly Wipro is also one of the mass recruiters and um, around 20 to 30 students also get placed in Wipro so this is the second page of Wipro you can see four more students and I'm just covering right now the com computer science so decent amount of placements are happened right so some more students in other companies like uh, Global Logic you see and the TCS also two more students uh, you can check here some more students Wipro uh, continues on this uh, you know sheet right and there are two more students which are another company called Codlier so that you can see Infosys also this is another list of you know four students who got placed there, there. then there are a few you know digital uh, consulting services so the name is uh, Triance you see three more students placed there and uh, two more students of computer science department in emphasis this is another list of uh, you know some more students getting placed in Wipro so I can say that around 30 to 40 students in Wipro 30 to 40 in Infosys and so on so now after computer science, I will talk about the students who got also got placed into ECE. So this is you can say read here electronics and the communication engineering department. So you see the company Robosoft and you see iWave and around eight students who also got placed into uh, Infosys where a lot of students got placed in from the CSE branch. This is another set of ECE students who got placed into companies like uh, DXC Technology, you see here Wipro and the Triance, two more students and uh, one student in Cognizant, you can see Emphasis, one student, Smart Brains, another uh, one student. So I'll also go for the students of other branches. Like, so this is for the mechanical engineering. So mechanical engineering, also good number of uh, companies that take from the core of sector. So Ashok Leland is one such an organization you can see around 10 students from the previous sheet and this uh, sheet put together around 10 to 15 students easily get placed there there now also the mechanical engineering also students also get opportunity to sit into placements of IT companies in most of the campuses right which especially in North Karnataka right so this is one like where a student have two students have got into DXC technologies and you see now the mechanical engineering students also getting into Infosys so not as one or two it is six uh, mechanical engineering students who got placed into Infosys similar to their counterparts from EC department or the computer engineering department and this is again the SLK software which is the Bangalore based companies and they have also allowed mechanical engineering students to sit and they have got two students placed there and this is one more company where you see mechanical students so as I mentioned earlier a lot of companies allow students from different branches and they can sit in placements for the IT companies as well so that's a good option if you want to take and this is one of the focus area of government uh, you know in super 30 list so students from that area can take this college as well and thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel uh, to get similar important you know placement other other informations about the KCET and the Comet K examination process thank you and take care bye